Bullshit. It's the No BS Marketing Show. I'm Dave Mastovich, CEO and founder of Mass Solutions, the world's only no bullshit marketing firm. I came across an article that I thought would interest everybody. The title is The Computer Scientist Training AI to Think with Analogies. Subhead, Melanie Mitchell has worked on digital minds for decades. She says they'll never truly be like ours until they can make analogies. I've talked to you for a long time about the science of storytelling and how storytelling is the one thing that goes across generations and across cultures. It's how we communicate, educate, and motivate. I've also talked with you about how significant anecdotes and analogies are because our mind, according to the cognitive psychologists, begin to formulate stories in just about every encounter that we have. So when we use anecdotes and analogies, we're helping to make ourselves more relatable. The more relatable we are, the more trustworthy we are, and the more believable we are. So the article means a lot because it's telling you the science of analogies are important to AI. It goes on to say that when Mitchell was in graduate school, her Professor Hofstetter, the two of them spent the next six years collaborating closely on Copycat, a computer program which, in the words of those co-creators, was designed to, quote, discover insightful analogies and to do so in a psychologically realistic way. See, Hofstetter and Mitchell believed that the cognitive process of analogy, how human beings make abstract connections between similar ideas perceptions and experiences would be crucial to unlocking human-like artificial intelligence. Right now, AI is fantastic, but isn't enough human-like. If they can incorporate analogies into AI, things like self-driving cars will be much more efficient and effective. Because when we're driving, we can make an analogy to a situation and read and react. Current AI is unable to do that. So the more they're able to put the analogies in there, it will enable the AI to work that much better and things like self-driving can become that much safer and better and more common. Why does this matter to you? The behavioral science needs to drive the creative art of your storytelling and of all of your marketing activities. To be a no bullshit marketer, you need to be able to leverage the power of storytelling through using anecdotes and analogies, through using the behavioral science of understanding who your customers are and what they think and feel. That sounds easy and many people claim they do it. But we found time and again that most people don't really know who their true customers and prospects are, nor do they have a great understanding of what they think, want, and feel. So that behavioral science to your marketing and to your storytelling, and that leveraging the power of storytelling through anecdotes and analogies ties back to this article, which you can see I highlighted so many of the different points and quotes but one of the quotes is, today's state-of-the-art neural networks are very good at certain tasks, said Mitchell, but they're very bad at taking what they've learned in one kind of situation and transferring it to another, the essence of analogy. That's how we learn. That's how we're able to adapt. That's how we read and react. That's how we educate, communicate, and motivate. So... Why wouldn't you apply anecdotes and analogies to all of your storytelling as a leader, as a team member, as a father, sister, husband, dad, doesn't matter. And here's the thing. Most people that I've met throughout my life use anecdotes and analogies 
and most of them were good storytellers in their personal lives. Around Thanksgiving, almost everyone in the room wants to tell a story. When you're involved with your friends, you're getting around to tell stories. You're using analogies. But in our careers, we tend to shut it off. And that's what I'm here today to talk to you about, is if that science is so strong that an AI expert professor, her and her teammates, are finding ways to incorporate anecdotes and analogies into the AI to make AI more human-like. If it's that scientific and you're already using it in your personal lives, I'm here to push you, cajole you to use that same technique in your career and your professional life. By using anecdotes and by making analogies, you become stronger as a communicator. You gain more trust. It makes you a stronger leader. And there are leaders. Every one of us can be a leader. Informal leaders and formal leaders. So I'm talking to all of you now. Anyone out there, if you're a team member, you still lead and can lead. And anecdotes and analogies will make you a stronger leader. The article meant so much to me because that is as scientific as it gets. The people who are studying AI to make AI more human-like understand that analogies work, that analogies will make AI better. And if we know that to be the case, and we know the cognitive psychologists tell us that we begin to form stories and that analogies make us relatable, and we already do it in our personal lives. It's time today to commit to using anecdotes and analogies in your professional life. It's time today to commit to being a stronger storyteller so you build trust amongst your team members and you can get more results. It's time today to leverage the power of storytelling in the workplace. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the No BS Marketing Show recorded here in our studio in bold, beautiful downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Remember, ask yourself, what's the big idea? And build your story around the answer. It's all about bold solutions, no BS.